Good morning everyone. My name is Naomi Lobo and I study at the Desman Bilingual School of Kuwait. And today, I'm going to talk about adding polynomials. Firstly, what are polynomials? Polynomials are basically expressions with more than two algebraic terms. Let's continue and learn today about adding and solving polynomials. Before we continue with today's video, let's talk about the objective of today's lesson. The main objective of this lesson is to add and solve polynomial equations. And with the help of examples, I'm going to show you how to do so. Take a look at our first example. We have two terms which are separated by a sign that's called the addition sign. We have 9x squared minus 7x plus 12 and negative 5x squared plus 2x. The first step is to write them just the way they are. So you have 9x squared minus 7x plus 12 and what will happen here is when the positive multiplies by the negative it turns negative and plus 2x now the next step is to take down the like terms what are like terms like terms are basically terms that have similar variables and power so over here we have 9x squared minus 5x squared minus the next two similar terms that is negative 7x and plus 2x so negative 7x plus 2x and the remaining constant that is plus 12 now when you add them we have the final answer it's going to be equal to 4x squared minus 5x plus 12. This is how you get your final answer. Now let's take a look at another example. We have negative 8x squared plus 2x plus 1 plus 10x squared minus x. The same way. Let's take down all the terms just the way they are. So you have negative x squared plus 2x plus 1 plus 10x squared and when you multiply a positive and negative always remember it turns into negative negative x next let's take down and group the like terms we have negative 8x squared and its like term is 10x squared and then the next two like terms are 2x and negative x And then finally the constant, that's plus 1. And then your final answer. When you add these two, you get 2x squared plus 2x minus x is equal to x. And then your remaining constant, that's plus 1. That's how you get your final answer of adding polynomials. Okay everyone, that's all for today. Goodbye and thank you. I hope you all understood and enjoyed today's lesson.